So we've talked quite a bit about nerve impulses in the motor neuron, the sensory neuron, the reflex arc. We want to think now about what the nerve impulse actually is, what this action potential is that generates the nerve impulse. Now, there's two types of cells in the body that are excitable. And an excitable cell is capable of generating an electrical current across its surface cell membrane. So if we think about a single cell now, if we imagine that this cell is electrical in nature, it could be a muscle cell or a nerve cell, let's say it's part of a nerve cell. Electrically, when it's not doing anything, it's going to be negative inside and positive outside. In that state, we'll say that the cell is polarized. So there the cell is polarized. There's an electrical difference. So in exactly the same way in your mobile phone or, or whatever you've got, there's a battery with a positive and a negative. In exactly the same way here, there's a negative and a positive pole inside and outside of the cell. And you can actually put in a micro pipette inside cells like that. And you can measure the electrical potential difference. And it turns out that inside the cell at rest in a nerve cell, it's about minus 70 millivolts. Now a millivolt is a thousandth of a volt. So this you can see that's just under a tenth of a volt. And what's actually happening, or one of the things that's happening, is that in the body, of course, you have ions, you have sodium, which is a positive ion. An ion is an atom with an electrical charge. We have chloride, we have potassium, we have calcium. These in solution are in ionic form and they have charges. So for example, if we think about the cell, sodium is always trying to get in and sodium is positive. But the cell is constantly pumping the sodium out. So that means you get lots of positive sodiums on that side, but very few positive sodiums on the inside. So can you see if you've got lots of negative ions inside and the positive ions are pumped out, you're going to get more positivity on the outside and relatively less on the inside. So the electrical potential difference is generated by physiologically regulated differential concentrations of ions in the intra and extra cellular fluid compartments. So when the cell is at rest, it's polarized about minus 70 millivolts inside. But then if there's a new nerve impulse or if a nerve impulse is coming along, this section of the cell will change from being polarized and it will become positive inside and negative outside to the tune of about plus 30 millivolts. So it changes from being negative 70 millivolts inside to plus 30 millivolts inside. And I think you can see there the difference is exactly a tenth of a volt. So it's quite reasonable to say that the nervous system is running on electricity. Your mobile phone might be running on three, six or nine volts. Your domestic appliances at home might be running on 220 or 240 volts. And your nervous system is running on a tenth of a volt. So it's still electrical, just relatively low voltages. And when the cell changes from being negative inside to being positive inside, we say it is in a state of depolarization. So a nerve impulse is actually this depolarization. That's what a nerve impulse is. Of course, if we want another nerve impulse to come along in a minute, or it's considerably less than a minute, we need to become polarized again because it's only when we are polarized that we can become depolarized. So there has to be this process of depolarization. Sorry, repolarization. 
Got it right in a minute. There is repolarization. So we start off polarized. The electrical nerve impulse is a depolarization. When the electrical nerve impulse has passed, if we want another nerve impulse to be able to come along, we have to depolarize. So that means to be in a condition where we can depolarize, the depolarized cell must first repolarize to be, become polarized again. And all this is achieved by the differential concentration of the ions on both sides of the membrane. Now if we imagine a nerve fibre, imagine that's a nerve fibre there, it's a long nerve fibre, so at rest it's going to be negative inside and positive outside. But the part where there's a nerve impulse actually passing is going to be positive inside and negative outside. And that wave of depolarization will spread down the nerve fiber. An action potential is a wave of depolarization. So if we look at exactly this same length of nerve, split second later, we'll find that this positive area has moved from that bit of the nerve onto the next bit just there. And be positive inside and negative there. This bit that was depolarized will have reverted back via the process of repolarization. And the bit further ahead, where the nerve impulse has not yet reached, will still be negative inside and positive outside. But then as this action potential spreads along in this wave of depolarization, that bit there will repolarize. So the electrical activity spreads down the nerve fiber in this wave of depolarization. And that works, but it's a bit slow. So what we have on nerve fibers is we have, imagine that's the length of nerve fiber there. As you probably know, it's surrounded by the Schwann cells in the peripheral nervous system, the oligodendrocytes in the central nervous system, forming the myelin sheath. So we have the myelin sheath around about. And instead of the depolarization going down the entire length of the nerve fiber as a wave, there are the Schwann cells. There. What happens is that the area of depolarization bounces from one neurofibral node or the nodes of Ramvia to the next. Neurofibral nodes and the nodes of Ramvia are exactly the same thing. They are the gaps in the nerve fibers between the Schwann cells, between the myelin, between the myelin sheath cells. That's called saltatory transmission. And it's way faster. It can be 100 meters per second or faster, as opposed to the slower waves of depolarization, which are only a, a meter or two per second. So in the body, sometimes people talk about A, B, and C type nerve fibers. The A and the B are myelinated with rapid transmission. The C fibers are unmyelinated so in the C fibers, the impulse has to spread down the fiber via this wave of depolarization without taking this shortcut from one node of Ramvia to the next. But whatever, the nerve impulse, the action potential, is this progressing wave, or progressing sections in this case, of depolarization, taking this electrical activity. Now the other thing about this is, if we imagine a painful stimuli for example, if you hurt your thumb a little bit you'll get a small pain, but if you hurt your thumb a lot you'll get a bigger pain. What's happening here? Well the electrical activity is the same. A more severe pain does not cause 
a larger action potential. The action potential is the same. It's still minus 70 to plus 30. But what the nervous system does a lot is what is called frequency coding. It codes the messages by the frequency of the nerve impulses. So for example, if you wanted to have, or you're hurting your finger a little bit, and you had a little bit of pain, then the pain receptors, the nociceptors might just generate a nerve impulse every second. Whereas if you had a severe pain, the nerve impulses would be generated much quicker. You would have more impulses per second. This is called frequency coding. So the level of depolarization is the same. The depolarization threshold is going to be similar. The voltage is the same, but many different messages can be carried in the same nerve fiber by frequency coding. And when those frequencies get to the brain, the brain is able to interpret that, understand that, and generate the appropriate sensory response. But whether it's motor neurons, sensory neurons, whatever neuron you're talking about, they're all these excitable cells, and they're all working by the differential concentration of ions on both sides of the cell membrane, generating these action potentials that are propagated along the nerve fibers, passing these electrical impulses with the information coded in those impulses around about the body.